Good afternoon, welcome to We Repair. Um, so today I have just a bit of a random one really. Um, so this is Elite Pad 3, um, bought it off of eBay. It was £12. Um, seller has mentioned that it's not working properly um, and there was no other information whatsoever. I can see that I think it has a pretty damaged screen to be honest with you, just from the marks that are on in the background here. Um, so, I haven't done anything with it yet, but that does pretty much cover our uh, our thoughts. It is very broken. Uh, now, I, I preemptively, just from the photos, have ordered a screen for this already, which has arrived. Um, and it does appear on the surface of it to work, because I can hear it making noises and all the rest of it. Um, it is pretty grubby though, so I would say it needs a bit of love and a bit of a clean. The back's a bit scratched up. But again, nothing that a good clean shouldn't fix. Um, cool, so we'll start by ripping into this and um, see if we can tear it down, get that screen out and, uh, and get a new one in there. So first thing we're going to do, take out these six screws in the back. And see what that gives us. Hopefully it's going to be some nice, easy access. Screw number six. So let's take this off. Cool, so it looks quite clean inside. It looks like there might be a bit of water damage or something. I think this is just going to pull out as well. There you go. Let's just connect that and remove that out of the way. So, it looks like we've got our main board. So, front camera's there. Battery's here. So, we'll get that disconnected because we don't want to do any damage. I guess that's disconnected. So, ribbon cable going to our secondary board, I think. Just our buttons and things. Oh, lost that one off there. And there is a speaker cable running here somewhere that looks like it goes to this board as well. So let's start ripping into this and see what we can do. I think we start with the three screws holding this board in. It's a good starting point. And we've got a ribbon here connecting something, so let's disconnect that. It's disconnected, and we'll disconnect this ribbon as well because I don't know what this is doing and I don't want to just catch this, so we just pop that one up by the looks of things. There we go, and then we can hopefully just lift this out. Right, there's something else connected here. Uh, there's a little microphone connected, and we've got a I think that's our LCD cable that we want to get to. It's not a nice way of doing that though, so there we go. It just pops down, so that's okay. So we just pulled it down and then the ribbon came straight out. So that's our main board. Again, we'll pop that up to one side. Okay, battery appears to be fine. I am going to have to remove it because I've got this ribbon going under here. So just with a pry tool, because I reckon this is glued in. Oh, I don't want to put too much force on that. It's definitely glued in. Oh, there you go. I can see three adhesive strips under it. I did actually buy a replacement battery for this just in case. I think this battery's probably okay. We've managed to get it out in one piece without damaging anything. I'm just going to have to put some new adhesive down because that's not going to be any use to anyone. Yeah, let's take that out as well. Cool, so now that ribbon's free. Um, I will take this out in a minute because I'm going to give this a proper clean because it's pretty gunky. So I'm going to go with here. This just looks like a mid-frame, so I'm hoping that I can remove all of these screws and then I'll be able to lift the screen out. That's the hope. Oh, 
not sure what this cable, this flex cable for is for at the bottom here though, which is a little bit weird. Maybe there's a separate digitizer on it, which is why it's there. Cool. Oh, no, it's the camera. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Well, that's out in one place. Now, is this a rubber grommet or is this a... Oh, no, it's just a rubber grommet. So we'll lift that off. And then let's see if we can get our screen up. It doesn't matter if I'm a bit... Okay, cool. It just comes out in one piece. There we are. There's our screen. So by the looks of it, it's combined the LCD and Dig. So the digitizer is there, you can see the layers. So that's cool. Okay, so that's that out. Now actually, I'm not gonna clean because it looks pretty tidy. This though, I do wanna clean because it looks pretty gross. So let's get the rest of this disconnected now. I'm hoping that this is just gonna be a few screws now. there. Uh, board looks like it's a bit water damaged but otherwise it looks fine. I might get a bit of IPA on that maybe. Let's take this out. Cool and that's just lifting out. Excellent. So that is our speaker and board with all our buttons on it. And then this, I'm hoping, should just drop out now. That's that. That's that. Cool. Excellent. Right, I'm going to go and give this a scrub. I'm not going to video it. I'm just going to use some hot soapy water and a toothbrush and just give it all a really good clean. Um, I've also got the back to one side as well, which I'm going to give a bit of a good scrub to. The back's a bit grubby. So we'll give that all a good scrub and then I'll come back to you. Right, so that's everything cleaned back up. It's all been done around the edges. There's the odd mark here and there. It actually smells nice now as well. Um, so we'll start with our reassembly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my buttons back in, which are all nice and clean. So just pop that on there. And the home button just goes there. And then we'll get our speaker in place next, I think. So, Lining that up at the front, this little notch the cable sits in, so we'll do that first. And then this bracket bit goes on as a means of sort of controlling the cable. Let's just screw that down. Three screws, that's nice and straightforward enough. Now we'll take this one here and we'll just turn this one round. The cable's gonna sit in the little end of this sort of notch on this white bracket. And it's just five screws to get that done. And the thing I noticed when I was taking this apart, and which I think will make my life a little bit easier, is the rubber grommet that sits around the screen actually clips into the back of this frame first. So I think I will put that on this half and then sit the screen down into it and hopefully everything will just marry up. Which, no, my luck, it probably won't. So that's that done. Let's lift this up. Tuck all these back into the corners. Like this and everything should sit nicely. There we go. Look at that, perfect. I've got our new screen here. Again, this is just a cheap eBay one, it's nothing special. There are a few scratches on it. If it was for anyone who wasn't me, I would buy a nice brand new one, but because it is for me, I don't really care. Uh, so, camera, let's just slot that back in here. There we go. Now, we'll do our middle assembly, if we get that the right way. And I'm hoping this will now just slot down onto everything because we've already lined up the front. There you go, that was really easy. Excellent. However, I probably should have done this first. 
There we are. Right, motherboard. So we need to try now and connect this up. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to do this and show you, so we'll just try our best. So cable down in, lock shut. So that's actually gone in straight in one, which I was expecting to be a royal pain. So tip that over there. And that sits under that clip and under that clip. Actually, what we have missed, I'll just lift this back out again. I need to put this mic in. So let's just do that. Turn it up the right way. Hopefully, it'll just push in. Nope. Let's push down with the end of a screwdriver. There you go. Let's go nowhere now. Perfect. Cool. Right. So let me just grab our three screws that are holding this one in. What I should have done first, which I'm going to have to go back and do now, is I didn't actually screw down the mid frame. So let's just quickly do that only because the motherboard is overlapping it. And I'll get all the way to the end and then realize I haven't done it. So let's just quickly do that. I won't worry about doing it all. I'll just do the ones that are sat under here and then I'll come back and do the rest in a minute. Cool, so that's all of that. Quickly screw this board down so it's not moving, and then we'll go do the rest of these screws. Well, I say the rest, we've got four left. It's not a big job from here, let's be honest. And third one. And we'll just quickly finish screwing down our mid frame. Three, and last but not least, number four. Right, and then connect up our daughter board so we've got all the buttons working again. Cool, happy days. And then this one. This one's a bit of a fiddle. There we go. Just took a bit of caressing. Right, so that's done. We've got one button to go up here. Which will only go up one way, so there we go. And then we've got our side button that goes over here, I think. I'm not sure which other way it goes there. Not that way. Excellent, so that's it. Right, so the only thing we've got left to do is our battery, which I have still got. Um, let's see if I can peel this old adhesive off and then I'll pop some nice new stuff on there. Right, I'll just grab some new adhesive, which I have got some of. The same stuff I've used for the iPads. Just get that taped on there. And this is just super strong double sided tape almost. So, number one, number two. Before I pop this back on, I'm just going to quickly reattach the Pen, just so it's, I think it's got the battery cable going over the top of it, so I don't want to put it in afterwards. That's that done. Let's connect this back up and then I'll get everything down into position. 
In fact, actually, is that going over the top or is that going underneath? Okay. So that goes like that. Give it a push down so it doesn't move. I'm just trying to be careful of these leads because we've got a screw hole right here where we're going to screw through to uh, put our. I might put that over the top, you know. There you go, actually, that works better. So that's now all fully reassembled. So we'll grab our top half, which has been cleaned as well. That go that way, that goes that way. So working from this end, so I'll just lift it out again, because we've got this sticking out, we want to almost slide it over that first and then push it down. Okay, perfect. So now we'll just get our back screws back in and then we can give everything a quick tester. And hopefully it will just all work. Battery does appear to have charge in it, so if it doesn't play, we'll change the battery over. Big deal. I'm going to end up doing just a quick separate video on how to do that at a later point if I have to. Okay, on over here. We'll give it a good tester. So that's all nicely lined up. Buttons work. Let's press the power button and see what happens. Hey, hey, that looks good. Right way up. Making all the right noises. Hopefully, in a second. Excellent. And it looks like it's on the setup screen as well. So, whoever's Destroy this is reset it first, which is brilliant. So there we go. Um, that is how you take part, restore, and uh, put a new screen into the Leap Tab 3, or sorry, Leap Path 3. If you found the video useful, then um, please drop us a like, leave us a comment, and um, subscribe to the channel. And if you're re feeling really nice to me, press the bell icon as well to subscribe to all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave us a comment and otherwise I shall see you in the next video.